Well, so this is where I wrote the song, this room. Um, it's very kind of inspiring room. Lots of musical instruments and art for my daughter. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with the camera. Plants and some light coming in the window. More artwork. Yeah, just surrounded by creativity and instruments and all. Sorry if I got you dizzy there. Um, yeah, so that's, that's where I wrote this this song and um, I guess I should say there we go I was um, there <laughs> um, first uh, yeah it's been a wonderful process I wrote the song really quick uh, or relatively quick I, you know I got the song the guitar on Sunday wrote the song on um, I had it pretty much written by Monday and then I've been tweaking it all week um, but I was, uh, I guess, first drawn to the, uh, the, the guitar's named Cedar, so I was drawn to the, uh, the wood. And the, uh, you know, I had some associations with cedar. There, my parents had a big cedar chest at the foot of their bed where they kept a lot of, you know, it smelled wonderful and they kept a lot of the uh, family important things, I guess, in there that had been handed down, quilts and things like that. Um, and um, I also knew, you know, I'd built a deck and I knew that, you know, cedar is an important wood sometimes for decks because it, uh, uh, you know, lasts a long time and resists the weather. But I also been into Native American you know, spirituality and, and legends, stories. And I, I um, so I looked up that a little bit and, and I came across this um, legend about um, the first people, Cherokee people, um, Cherokee legend. Um, you know, ask the creator to 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 make only day because they're tired of having to deal with the night for whatever reason, and so the creator said, "Okay, yeah, we'll give it a try." So, um, you know, made it just just only days and no nights. And of course, you can understand their suffering. You know, they had um, besides having sleep difficulties, they also you know the growth was uh, you know plants were overgrown and they didn't have any time to rest and all that kind of stuff. Um, and so they went back to the creator and said, hey, you know, let's, let's try all night instead. And so, said, oh, okay, you know, maybe they, that's what they want. So, you know, I'm here for them. So we'll, we'll do that. And, uh, so we switched to nights and of course, you know, things died and, and, um, it got cold and, and, um, yeah. So they went back again and said, hey, let's, let's just go back to the same order and, the creator <laughs> said yeah good idea and so I went back and uh, you know reestablished that balance and uh, part of the legend too is that the cedar tree was created to hold the spirits of all those who had died um, in that darkness um, you know to honor them that their spirits were held there so that um, story was kind of inspiring to me that light versus dark and needing the balance um, was you know, it's just a good message, but then also seems to fit the times. I, with it being such troubled times, past, you know, several years, such divided times in the United States, it's, uh, I've become much more aware of more of the darkness, because I, because I, in, in people, I guess, um, because I, I'm, I tend to be an optimist on the verge of denial, as my wife calls me, um, and this has uh, caused me to realize that, you know, there are some people that just, uh, you know, are not doing good things and not helpful things. And um, there's ignorance, which is also kind of a, a darkness, I guess, that leads people to do, um, uh, yeah, not so good things. So anyway, but but it helped me realize, you know, th that, you know, come to reality that that is something we have to deal with and we need to keep on fighting the darkness at the same time, recognizing its presence. And finding some balance and still striving in my view you know striving uh, for the good is something striving towards the light and so this song is about that balance and it's about um, the cedar um, reminding us reminding me anyway of that and it's so it's yeah really neat that the guitar is named cedar as well um, like I said I wrote it in this room um, around all these these things and memories and creative things and, and so that's it's been a wonderful experience.
Um, I, I often write songs here, um, and it, it's always fun for me to have a prompt or a reason or a, um, you know, creating a song for something. And this project has been, uh, I mean, is a, um, it, it's been wonderful to be a part of this project. And um, you're going to regret saying that I can't edit this video because I'm kind of rambling. But anyway, thank you very much for this opportunity. And um, yeah, I hope my song fits in, in the, the order somewhere with all the other songs, the balance of good and bad songs, maybe. Um, anyway, take care. Thank you, um, Trish and everyone involved in the organization and the other artists who I'm really excited to hear their songs too. Take care. Bye.